a big news update has landed for the Legion Go, which I'm going to be sharing with you all today. And this comes directly from Lenovo, posted on the Legion Gaming Community Forum on the 10th of November 2023. A new Legion Space version 1.0.2.2 was released today, with another update releasing tentatively around the 30th of November, with more updates planned. The new update released today should install automatically for you when booting into Windows. You'll be presented with a prompt requiring you to select Install Now, and the rest will take care of itself. This new update has made the overlay much more stable in comparison to the previous version and adds a darker UI by default and polished buttons. If we go into the settings, we can now see a toggle for the option to turn off booting automatically into Legion Space at startup has been added, which is a much welcome feature requested by the community over the past week, as this was causing some users a bit of wait time to access Windows when powering on. When we press the right Legion button now, we no longer have to deal with the left quick menu appearing all the time and get access to the performance menu straight away. If we wish to access the left quick menu, we can just press the left Legion button and tap on menu here in the bottom left to access these options. Back on the Legion Gaming Community Forum, we can see that trackpad DPI and joystick dead zone management is still coming in a future update and it is noted that although this is still part of the plan, it may take longer than expected to achieve. The team at Lenovo want to release this as quickly as possible for everyone as they're aware that this is a much requested feature. Moving on, we have the apply game profile option which Lenovo hopes to make more intuitive and add further improvements in the future. This has been noted as still a work in progress. Regarding the graphics drivers released back on the 6th of November, which are actually the September 780M graphics drivers tailored towards the Legion Go, Lenovo has commented that they are working with extended teams and vendors to speed up the driver release process and would like us to understand that while other systems using this chipset have different dates, it doesn't necessarily signify anything. So if we just take a moment to break this down, the latest drivers for the AMD chipset, which I have been using, are actually from the 25th of October 2023, released only a few weeks ago, which, if you want to know how to install these, you can find a link to my tutorial in the description. These drivers provide compatibility for many recent games such as further Starfield improvements, Forza Motorsport 8, Mortal Kombat 1, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Hopefully Lenovo can work with these extended teams to get up to speed with other Z1 Extreme devices so others can enjoy the benefits, optimizations, and improvements on offer. Lastly, for this update, gyros, of which there are three in total, one in each controller and one in the main unit. Legion Space 1.0.2.2 allows us to set gyro for the left or right joystick and further improvements are a work in progress coming in the future. That's all for the new Legion Space update, but Lenovo have even more news to share. The extended teams referred to earlier are rounding up and taking very seriously all of our feedback posted online. They are meeting regularly to discuss and plan actions to address key concerns and requests made. Before we dive into these, I think I speak for most of us by saying that Lenovo are off to a flying star with providing these updates in such a regular, communicative manner. Let's hope this continues and more updates continue to be shared. The actions for the future include, but are not limited to, additional customization for key mappings, an additional UMA frame buffer option within the BIOS, including 6G, which we have recently seen in the beta BIOS 25WW, and an auto setting, which will allow the system to automatically allocate VRAM, which has worked wonders for me in the past. Custom fan curve adjustments, an FPS limiter being implemented, 
A fix for the 144 to 60 Hz refresh rate toggle requiring the AC adapter. Reports of some users not seeing custom TDP take effect. Reports of some users not seeing working FPS counter and when it always displays zero in games. Lenovo have also added additional language support to space, such as Spanish, French, German and Japanese. On the topic of audio volume, while this is admittedly not an ideal fix, a potential path for improvement would be to open the Realtek audio console preloaded on the device, navigate to the speakers section and manually adjust the equaliser settings to max for each frequency. This should slightly increase the volume on the device. Further details regarding a new stable BIOS update are coming in the future and Lenovo will keep us all up to date on when this is due to arrive. More requests are being tracked and considered but these may also be listed in the future. So there we have all the latest news for the Lenovo Legion Go as of the 10th of November 2023 and should more arrive I will be making sure to keep you all updated on the channel. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel as this motivates me to continue making videos for you all and tells me that you enjoy the content and want to see more. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you later.